Hey YouTube, this is Tartaria. I'd like to show you a little thing I made. It's not this. This is my friend's base. I'm sorry that I made a rail station in the middle of that, but oh well. I've been working on it for quite a while, like since I posted my last video. And it's over here. It's another ALU. As you all know, there was a transistor update, and I'm like, hey, I want a transistor in my ALU. So I made another one. It's probably two thirds as long. It's really awesome. And I'm planning on making a full CPU out of it, but yeah. To my knowledge, only two people have made a full working CPU, and I plan on being the third person to do that. Hopefully. So yeah, I'll show you what it is right now. Here's my daunting input array. On the right, I have my numbers from 128 all the way to 1, 8 bits, standard, whatever. Um, control bits, adding, oring, anding, not aing, xoring, bit shifting, up and down, and toggle for carry for bit shifting. And then my memory controls. So over here, I'm going to put in a 1 and select adding. Um, I select A, like memory bit A, or memory byte A, whatever. Register, yeah. Um, and then write to it. Come over here. Let's say put in 3, and then select B, and write to that. And then I write to output. 3 plus 1 is 4. Yay. I will show you how it works now. Over here, um, this is my adding selecting selector wire. Remember this for later. Uh, and then my one and two. So this is a value of three coming through here. A little bit of problems here. Uh, it goes into this memory cell. Uh, bottom is B, and this wire comes up to the A memory cell. And this is the write to line. If that's on, then the memory cell, which is right here, will write to whatever the input is. But if this is off, it doesn't matter what the input is. The output's going to stay whatever it was written to. So then that comes down here. And here's my B and A. And comes up here to my full adder. This is off because carry, since 1 plus 1 is 2, so carry is on. And then it carries again, which comes over here. Ends it with the selector wire. This is the thing I told you to remember, um, which is right here comes up to the top wire and comes over here. Oh um comes down here to this memory cell. Uh, exactly the same as over there. Um cutting time since the right to output isn't on. It's magic. Output line is on. So then this gets written to the memory cell, and I did these memory cells in the back so I can play with the memory input memory cells, but still have the same output. So then this comes in my bus. This is a temporary bus, so it's not very compact or close to the ALU or anything. So comes over here to my also temporary viewing whatever you trigger you call it want to call it and four is put up so it works 
So just show you that and and or and all of all of this other stuff works. And then and one and uh, one two. So only one should be on because only one only B for two is on. So look that. Oh yeah. Whoops. Turn off adding. There we go. This one. Let's say if I were to write a one two two A, then this should turn on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Works. I will make another video once I hook up all of programming and maybe some RAM and there's some RAM I started out there. Um, so yeah, till my next video.